In today's video, I want to present you one of the updates in the latest version of Thrive Architect, which brings dedicated headers and footers management to your landing pages. Hello, I'm Shane Melach from Thrive Themes, and today we're looking at the headers and footers feature that has been added to the Thrive Architect plugin. Now, this is our first release that lets you use headers and footers and reuse them on your landing pages. We are looking to develop this further. So in this video, I wanna show you what you can do right now with this feature. I wanna give you an idea of what's coming and then I wanna tell you how you can help us make this feature even better. So to get started, let's look at how to apply this feature on a landing page. Right here, I have a landing page open with Thrive Architect. And what you'll have on many landing page templates is that you'll either just have no header, right? It's like a very focused landing page, there's no header going on. It's all about just what's on the page itself. And then maybe there's a footer like this, which I'm gonna get rid of. And some landing page templates also come with a simple thing that looks like a header, but usually only contains a logo or something like that. Now, starting from a page like this, what I can do is I can go to my page setup and I can click on add header. And this will bring up any headers I've already saved. Now, when you're using this for the first time, you won't have anything here. So you can create a new header. And we've got some templates to work from. As you can see, we've got a blank header and some simple designs, and we will be adding more templates here in the future. So let's pick one of these and choose this. I can give it a name, my light header and add this header. And the idea is that I'm not adding this only to this landing page I'm working on right now, but this is now a header that's available to use on my site on all landing pages. And it acts like a symbol. Now, if you haven't seen our symbols feature yet, I'll link below to the post where you can see how the symbols work. These are basically elements that when you update them in one place, they update everywhere where you've used them. And the header works exactly like that. So this header right here, as you can see, when I click on it, it's not selectable, the elements inside it are not selectable, but I can click on edit header and that basically puts me into header editing mode and I can change things. So, you know, you could replace this with your logo image or just your text. And you can change the menu right here. We have a custom menu that you, where you can change the links on each of these items, right? You can change the text and the link of each menu item and you can rearrange menu items right here. You can also delete menu items, or as you just saw, I basically removed a sub menu item and you can also add it back, right? So you can make a drop down item or you can move it out to make it a top level menu item. And you can edit your menu in whatever way you need. And once you've done that, once you've done your header editing, you can save this and this has saved this header instance. So anywhere else where you use the same header, it will also update immediately once you save the changes. Now the same goes for a footer. So at the bottom of the page, we can also go to our page setup, add a footer, and here we have the same thing. You can save your own footers or you can create new ones based on our templates. And I'll just choose one of these, give it a name, and insert this. And now, in exactly the same way, we have a footer element here that is basically a site-wide element. We can apply this to other landing pages and they will always be synchronized. Now on the header, I want to show you a couple more things because there are a few special features on the header. So let's go back here and go to edit header. And there are a few options here I wanna show you. The first is you can choose to either push the content or to have the header like layered on top of the content. So that's the over content option. And as you can see, when I switch between these two options, you can kind of see that the page moving up, right? Because it kind of slips underneath the header. And as it is, that doesn't make that much sense. But if we actually go in here and we change the background style, so let's say we make this white with some transparency, then you can start seeing how that would make sense. And in fact, you could even have a completely transparent header. In this case, we would have to change the text color and the logo color to white. But this way you can have a transparent or a semi-transparent header that overlays the top section background image of your landing page. So I'll make this more visible again. So that is the, in the Thrive header, that is the over content option. 
And the other option here is behavior on scroll. So before we go into that, let me just show you what it looks like now, just so we can see all three variations here. So let me preview this page. So right now we have this header at the top, as you can see, it's slightly transparent, overlays the background. And when I scroll down, the header stays at the top. So the header is just static at the top. All right. Now let's edit this header again and change that option to sticky and save it. A sticky header will basically stay at the top of the viewport like this, right? So as the user is scrolling, they will always see the header. And then finally, the last option, let's edit the header again and change this to appear on scroll up. You can probably already guess what that does. It does exactly what it says. Let's reload the page again. So now when I scroll down, the header disappears. But as soon as I start scrolling up, it reappears again and it stays visible until I start scrolling down again. So those are the three ways or the three scrolling behaviors you can choose for your header. Now, as you've seen, I've been working on the header directly on my landing page, but this is a global element. This is an element that you can add everywhere you want on, on any landing page you want. And you can also manage it centrally. So in your Thrive dashboard, if you go to your WP admin dashboard, you go to Thrive dashboard right here, you can go to global elements. And this is also where you manage your templates and your symbols. So right here, you can see this is my saved buttons and things like that. And here we have now headers and footers. And here you can go in, so I can go and edit my footer that I saved before on the landing page and go in here and edit it here. So here we have a separate editor view where all I see is the footer and I can go and change whatever I want about this. And everywhere where I've inserted this footer, it will update. So the idea is that you can create one or several headers and one or several footers that you can use. And on every landing page where you want to use the same header and footer, you can just insert those. This is how the feature works so far. Now what we've planned, what's coming for sure is more templates. You'll have more templates to choose from and we'll make header and footer templates that match the existing landing page designs we already have. We will also update our landing page designs so that the, they actually use the header and footer feature, whereas up until now, they just had page sections that were styled to look like headers and footers. So that is coming in the near future. We are also working on further improvements to the custom menu element. It's already pretty powerful, but in our next release, we will add a few more functions to that and make it more user friendly than it is right now. And we're working on an updated flow where when you load a new landing page, it's easier instead of loading a landing page and then having to replace the headers and footers right away, you'll be able to decide, do you want to load this landing page with your own headers and footers or without headers and footers or whatever you want. These are the things that are already planned, but from you, we would like to know what else you would see in this feature. So give this feature a try and let us know what things you want to solve with a header and footer feature and how you want to use this. Headers and footers are kind of a basic building block of any website. And like I said, in this early version, it basically only applies to landing pages, which is already very useful, but we're also aware that you probably want to use them in more ways and more places. Because it's such an important feature, we want to get your feedback on this. So tell us what you like, tell us what you don't like, tell us how you want to use this and tell us what features you would like to add. We want to make this the best visual editor for headers and footers on your website. So give us your feedback to help us make that happen. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching. Let us know what you think of this feature by leaving a comment below. I'll catch you in the next video.